All right, folks, here's our uh, backup power system, solar powered to uh, power our Hopsco air stove. And we got the complete package will be available now if somebody's interested in that. And that's where you can get a hold of us at. Uh, or you can email Richard at woodheatmi.com or scott at airstove.com and basically what we got we got a solar panel here and unfortunately where I have this located at this time of day uh, it's a little after three o'clock in the afternoon and you can see on that panel I got a couple of big uh, shaded areas from uh, a tree here that's behind me so here's that pesky tree and I'm gonna have to thin a couple of branches so that I get some good sun this is real I had good sun up until about 10 minutes ago on the panel I was making good electricity uh, but you want to have this as unobstructed as possible and peak hours in my neck of the woods are you know I like to have that panel right in the sun from about 11 to, to 430 that'll give you some good some good power but anyway this uh, this unit the cables come down and they hook in over here on the side and they go through the side of the box over here uh, right in through those connectors and they go in this blue panel is a solar charge controller and as you can see with that shade I'm only putting uh, 1.5 amps in there but it is still charging a little bit on those batteries uh, we've got two batteries in here and the inverter and that goes out through that other side to a ground fault uh, plug and this yellow cord here is plugged into that and runs up here and goes to my watt meter. I can plug the stove in directly. That's the, the cord to the stove right there. I can plug the stove directly in, but I want you to see what we've got here again for usage. The induction fan and the blower fan both are on on this. And I'm using 350 is about the average. Uh, it's been 359 to to 348 off and on uh, watts on there and uh, we're running 121 uh, volts so that's that's a good setup now this that blower fan just kicked off so now just the fire induction fans on so we got 30 35 watts on there for power with just the induction fan so here's the unit we've got uh, we've got an inverter that's plugged in like I said powers this uh, outlet box here I got the stove plugged into that and you can you can uh, read voltage amps on that solar charge controller. That charge controller is totally automatic. It'll look at the battery voltage and uh, if the battery doesn't need to be charged it has a heat sink on the back of it and it'll uh, release the, the energy so this thing's automatic. It won't, uh, it, it requires nothing. This one is designed as a backup system so we're going to document here on these two batteries. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have these fully charged up. I was hoping to have these solar charged up today. When I started, uh, these batteries were only at like 11 or 12.4, and I've been running this stove for about an hour, and I've got I'm down to 11.9 on these batteries. But when when you get a system and you start with fully charged batteries uh, my intent on this thing is I'm trying to get you through 
12 to 18 hours worth of continuous run time on your stove so you still got heat even in a power outage so that's that's our intent with this uh, we we are going to be packaging and selling this kit and it's going to be uh, sold to you as a solar uh, AC power system and it will qualify for a 30 percent federal tax credit because it is a power uh, provider we're using the Sun to provide you power here and you can run your stove with it so there'll be more to come uh, like I said if you if you want to give us a call and and discuss any of your your heating or alternative energy needs uh, you can call us direct you can email me Richard at woodheatmi.com or if you're interested in uh, the air stove or the solar uh, you could also get a hold of Scott at airstove.com uh, and there'll be more to come on this and check our website uh, woodheatmi.com we'll be having uh, specials going on, on on these as we introduce this product.